the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at using tiles to model uh, the division of integers. Now the book shows one way, but it's kind of confusing, so I'm going to I'm going to do it uh, a way that I found works good. And here's here's how it looks. Um, I've used circles to indicate positive integers, and I've used squares to indicate negative integers. All right. And what I want to do is we take a look at in this question we have positive 15 divided by positive 5. The positive 15 equals the number of uh, of tiles we're going to use. The positive 5 equals the groups we're going to use. Now because I'm going to start with the groups first. Because the groups are positive 5, I'm going to use large circles. I'm going to draw five large circles. All right. Two, three, four, five. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 15 positives in each group. And the way, easy way to do this is just go like this. I'm going to put a circle in each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now I've put fifteen in each group, and there's a total of three in each group. You can see. All right? So here's how I'm going to look at this. If I have a positive outer circle and positive inner circles, right? That's like our multiplication rules where we have a positive uh, times a positive equals a positive. Well, in division, when we have a positive divided by a positive, it's going to give us the same thing, a positive. So our answer here is positive 3. We go down, right? We see negative 15 right here, negative 15 divided by positive 5. So again, we have, I'm going to draw 5 circles to represent the positive 5. There's 5 circles. But I'm going to put um, a rectangle in each one until I get to 15. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. So now I've reached fifteen. You can see there's three in each one. But now, like multiplication, you have a positive times a negative equals a negative, and or a negative times a positive equals sorry, equals a negative. Same thing if we have a positive divided by a negative. Positive divided by a negative equals a negative, and a negative divided by a positive equals a negative. So and here's how I look at this. We have a positive outer circle, and we have negative inside, so we have different signs. That means our answer is going to be negative, so we have negative 3. Okay, on this one, we have positive 15 divided by negative 5. Well, because this is a negative, what I'm going to do instead of large circles, I'm going to draw larger squares outside. Okay, and I'm going to draw 5 larger squares. All right, and now I'm going to fill them with 15 positives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We see the different signs right here. Outside is negative, inside is positive. Because they're different, our answer is going to be negative 3. Okay, keeping on that theme, moving down. All right, 
we have negative 15 divided by negative 5, so I'm going to draw 5 larger outer squares. Right, those represent negative 5, so there's 3, 4, 5, and I'm going to fill them with 15 smaller ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and now I have 15 in there. I have negative on the outside, negative on the inside, negative times a negative, or negative divided by a negative, equals a positive. So my answer is positive 3. may not be perfect, but it's a visual way that I can understand it easy enough. And that's how you model um, the division of integers using tiles. All right? Then we can look at questions to do. Here are your assignment options for this lesson. You can choose to do Earth's orbit. Oops, should highlight that instead. Earth's orbit by doing questions 3, 6, 8, and 11 on pages, I think it's 80 and 81. You could choose to do impulse speed, which is uh, pages 80 to 82. Um, you can see questions. You can just pause the tutorial and copy these down into your notes. Or you can do warp speed and do these questions. All right, choice is yours, but that's your assignment.